Hello everyone, welcome to the Software Coding Tutorials channel. My name is Tommy. Today I will be discussing about the generation of DOL to be used by Visual C++. And this is a DOL that is generated by uh, the TDM GC compiler. Okay. So this is the list of essential software to create the C++ DOL and then using it. So first off, you want to download the latest version of TDM GCC, which is version 10.3.0, and install it on your machine. Uh, this is the 64-bit compiler that can run under Windows 11. And then use the link that I provided here to get the compiler. Then you also need a copy of Visual Studio 2022. If you did not purchase one, don't worry, you can get a free version uh, by downloading Visual Studio Community. Uh, use this link provided here to get the free version. And Visual C++ will be including with this package. Okay, if you don't have Visual Studio Code, please download a version of it and then uh, type the following. So here is a version of um, a particular uh, library I created a while ago in my tutorial, uh, a previous tutorial. So you can see here, um, uh, this is a math, uh, basically it's a math.lib.dol. Uh, and uh, as you can see, this is the .h file for the math lib uh, DOL. Uh, first you need to define uh, that this is a uh, .h file so do the following here then add your include and you would probably need a using namespace standard declaration here then declare your extern C and here is my declaration uh, so that I can export uh, the functions out of this DOL. So what I mean is when I declare share lib, uh, this is going to be exported out so another uh, program can actually see it and you use it. Uh, so I'll, I'll show you how uh, that'll be done later. But uh, so these are just very basic functions. Uh, you know, just add, multiply, add and subtract and then uh, a special one here is where I'm sending a string and I'm getting a string back and then um, I would need an if def uh, C++ here to close my curly bracket then uh, last but not least an end if statement uh, to, to, to end the DOL and then if I switch over to the math underscore lib dot cpp, I would have my uh, include here of the math lib dot h, and then um, declaring the implementation. So add would be just returning uh, the sum of a plus b. Subtract would be a minus b, and as you can see the pattern for these uh, very simple uh, math function. Uh, the, the function that returns data to me, um, I would need to return back as a cons constant char string. And then um, the receiving part is also a constant char string. For some reason, Visual C++ does not uh, like me to declare a string um, you know, object. So I, I have to use the primitive type, which is the you know constant char string. Okay, and then create a batch file, and the batch file uh, will be um, 
you know, first line will compile uh, the mathlib.cpp, and then um, then again, basically, uh, the second line is to generate the DOL, as you can see here. So that's all you need. Okay, using your uh, VS Code, go ahead and open up a new terminal. And then underneath here, you can see that uh, I have these files already made. So just type in bill.bat. And this is going to generate my DOL, which is a 64-bit version of the C++ DOL, as you can see here. Then I will show you uh, in the next step in Visual uh, C++ to use this DOL. Okay, to confirm the version of the compiler, I can do a clear, type in G++, G++ dash dash version. And as you can see here, this is uh, G++ 10.3.0. Uh, copyright 2020 by the Free Software Foundation. Okay, uh, go to your application that um, you download and install, uh, which is Visual Studio 2022, and then uh, just click on Developer Command Prompt for VS 2022, and this will pop up. So I'm going to cd into the directory which I created the math uh, underscore lib dot dol and then type dir and then uh, use a program called dumpin and dumpin allow us to see the exported functions that we generated in our dol so type dumpin slash exports and then the DOL version. And as you can see here, these are the functions that were exported. So add, divide, get data, multiply, power, you know, subtract. So all these functions include an address associated with them. When you type in uh, dump in export and your DOL. Okay, and this is how you would able to see if uh, you generate the DOL correctly. Now uh, open uh, Visual Studio 2022 and just go and create a new project. And here this is where I'm going to create a council uh, application in C++. Then I click on next and let's call this something else. Let's call this Council C app. Council C app. And then create. Okay, so the first thing I do after um, generating this uh, council app is to remove all the comments here and remove the ones from above and ensure that this is uh, in the six, I'm sorry, uh, x64 bit uh, platform because the DOL that we generated earlier was a 64 bit. If you don't uh, configure this correctly you won't be able to load that DOL that you generated earlier okay so um, the first line I would include here would be include windows dot h uh, include uh, tchar dot h and include string And the reason for Windows is we're going to be using like load library. And then tchar uh, will be uh, certain strings in Windows. 
uh, okay, that it's not compatible to the regular uh, standard string. Okay, then remove this guy and then type in H module um, H DOL equal to low library um, W and then I would need dash T I'm sorry underscore T uh, which is a T char and then type in my um, the path that I generated earlier so it's going to be this okay I need to escape the slashes and then type in math underscore lib dot dol okay. and if hdll is equal to no then do a standard c error fail to low dol inline be standard inline and uh, that reminds me I should type in using namespace standard okay and if you remember um, those function that I declared earlier Okay, so you can see that they have um, they receive double and then return double except for the get data. Okay, so I would type in the following: type def double star add function. Okay, and then double, double, and I say add function add equal to add function and use the uh, method called get cross address h d l l and the name of the um, function is add okay and I would do the same thing for the other ones like add subtract multiply etc which have the same um, receiving um, data type which is like double and then return of double so it would be pretty easy so just like for example multiply uh, I would just change this here my type def and then um, making sure my name the name is multiply and if um, add equal to no or multiply equal to no then I know that the uh, function does not exist okay then I can say uh, standard C error uh, fail to get function in line and otherwise I can call it so I can say double result equal to add let's say uh, 15.25 plus 15 uh, 15.75 right um, I, can, I can do 
I can say CL result for add is result and line. And I would do the same thing for um, result for multiply. Multiply, let's say, 6.5 times 10.5. See how result for uh, multiply is result. Okay, and then for the other function, uh, which is a little bit more difficult, is the um, the returning um, of type constant char. So I would do uh, constant char, and I would call uh, that function to be uh, called get data, right? So I say get data function. And the receiving part here would be constant uh, char star. And I would say get data function get data equal to get data function and call the get prop address HDLL get data okay so I need to make sure I, uh, I check to see if that function exists before calling it okay so if, if, if any of these functions uh, doesn't exist it's going to say fail to get function okay to use it to use the get data function I would say constant char star s result string result equal to get data and let's say hello world okay and then see how result from get data is s string okay and uh, my last step is I need to free the DOL uh, so do free library and then the handle h d o l l okay and that should complete my program and so if I execute it right now um, let's run it and as you can see here it returns back result for add is 31 R result for multiply is 68.25 uh, result from get data is hello world okay so uh, that's all the tutorial time that I have for today and if you like uh, this type of video please make sure to put uh, like and subscribe and I'll see you next time have a good night.